Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got four replays, yes four, and that is because we finally hit the top of Era 3. That is, we're in the Western Alliance Era 3, top of the era tank for the French Cold War line, the Leclerc. And the Leclerc is, well, a pretty damn fantastic tank. It's a really solid tank. It's got pretty damn good DPM. I'm pretty sure it's actually the best DPM of all of the Era 3 top era heavies, that is, because there are other heavy tanks that have more DPM, well, there's other tanks in the era that have more DPM than it, like the Challenger one and the AMX-40 before it. But in terms of the top era heavies, so in terms of the 2A5, the M1A2, this tank, the Challenger 2, the BU, you know, this tank has the highest DPM if you're using the top gun. And that's a really nice thing for it. It has 550 alpha, with 633 pen on the APCR or 700 pen on the premium. Now, 700 pen on the premium basically goes through everything when you shoot it, which is really, really nice. But the 633 pen is, well, if it was good enough for me to five, well, good enough for me to pen most things in the AMX 40 when I was firing full prem, I'm happy enough with it as my standard round in the Leclerc. And the one thing that really hammers home that I'm not in the AMX 40 anymore. And all the AMX-32, or any of the Era 2s really, is that with the Leclerc Series 1, you do lose the 20mm auto cannon, which is a bigger loss than I thought it'd be in Era 3, if I'm honest. I really liked having the auto cannon. For moments like this, if I was in the AMX-40 right now, I would be shredding that poor bloke with my auto cannon, and he would be losing a lot of hit points. And there's a lot of situations like that where I go, oh, I just wish I was in the MX-40. Number one for the DPM, right? Because you have 7.7k DPM with the full DPM build in the MX-40. Whereas in this, currently what you're seeing, because I don't have the top gun yet, is a 6.3k DPM. So you've lost 1.4k DPM over your predecessor. Although you do gain armor, which while it's not the most armor in the universe... It bounces stuff, and ATGMs don't automatically go through you anymore, which is definitely a beautiful thing for the Leclerc. Is it worth losing 1.3k DPM? And the autocannon? I'm not sure. I'd say, for me, personally, I, I'm playing this tank going, this tank's really solid, but I, I just wish I was kind of in the AMX-40 at times. Having that lovely DPM, that lovely gun accuracy, that lovely 20mm auto cannon, and actually the better top speed as well at 83 kilometers an hour. I I just kind of wish I had all of that. Doesn't mean that the Leclerc's a bad tank. I just I, I probably enjoyed the, the MX40 enough that it tainted this tank a little bit, right? But it is, like I say, a still a damn, damn nice tank. It's, it's absolutely solid at what it does, and you can have some really goddamn nice games. And I'm really interested to see what the top gun is like on this Leclerc, because I feel like this gun is a little bit... I say, I hesitate to call derpy. Shots like that. Shots like that where you go, oh, that's going to hit. No, hits the floor. Uh, uh, derpy for Era 3 is the way I'd probably have to phrase it. Sometimes it just likes to miss. And that's something that the MX-40 basically never did for me. But with the Top Gun, I do see that if I was to hover over it with the compare feature, it's now, instead of 1.21 accuracy, it's 1.19. And I think my aim time gets better as well. So that might just get better as well when I get fully upgraded. Who knows? But yeah, on the whole, this tank is a pretty damn fun tank to play. And combined with everything that it has going for it, you can just do some pretty solid, consistent things. I think for me, the MX-40 felt like I was far more capable of dishing out massive damage, as you saw with the video yesterday where I did 16,000 damage. But with this tank, I felt like I can be far more consistent and controlling in what happens in games. Which is definitely nice, and it's probably the way it should be, really, for being the top of Era 3 tank, right? So in terms of a crew on the Leclerc, I run... Born Leader, Rapid Reload, Sixth Sense, s Steady Aim, Run and Gun, Dead Eye, Trap Mechanic, Clutch Braking, and the Controlled Impact. MBT-70 Crew, like I said in the video yesterday, I run it because there's a lot of ramming that goes off in this era, so I want to make it 
so I take less damage from ramming and stuff, because taking a thousand damage from a M1A1 ram is really annoying, but it knocks it down to about 600, 700 odd. And then the gun perks, because you always want to make your gun better, and track traverse to make the mobility feel pretty damn solid. And in terms of equipment, I run the advanced loader, traction system, and vents for that DPM madness. And as you can see in that first game, we finished with the Ace Tanker Top Gun High Caliber, 1683 base XP for 11,000 damage and 7 kills. Was that about 13k combined? Pretty damn nice game for the Leclerc. And it really showed off what this tank can do, you know. It it can DPM people, it can get about pretty damn well, like a lot of the tanks in the era. Its gun's pretty damn nice, although sometimes it does like to miss a bit and you go, Leclerc, really? Come on, bro. And the penetration is pretty damn nice. I just sometimes I just miss that twenty millimeter auto cannon from the tank before, because <laughs> as you can see, this tank has a five point two second reload, whereas the AMX forty actually has a four second reload, which, yeah. I mean, the AMX forty does have five twenty alpha as opposed to this having five fifty, but yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know. It's like I'm I'm fully convinced this is a really good tank and it's well worth the grind. But I just feel like I'm missing the AMX forty, <laughs> you know. It's, it's just a weird one where I'm going. Where I'm going. Yeah, this is really quite a good tank. I can really do quite well with this. I can really be quite consistent with it. But it's missing something, you know. I, it's weird. But hey, well, we're into the second replay of this video. And yes, like I say, I've got four replays for you because this is the top of the branch this is the one that everyone's grinding for right so we're going to try and show it off as best as we can and we're on the second replay which is on the exact same map exact same spawn and we're on uh, this map which is yeah a map that i can't remember the name of what is it there's full there's full there's full we got there yes come on let's go well done brain pat on the head you missed Good, good Mr. Brain. And we are going to try and take this middle again. Because this middle area is very, very strategically important for the map. Because you can get so many shots across everywhere. Although, you don't want to sit on it for too long. Which is something we're probably going to be a little bit guilty of in this replay. And we're up to 3.2k damage so far with only losing 1,000 hit points. Good trades so far. But those leopards have fallen back into a situation where I'm not happy with that fight. I don't want to fight two hull down leopards anymore. So we're going to change our position and see if we can get into another one to get some flanking shots off at some people. So we're trying to look at the BU. Couldn't find a shot at that BU there. And I'm just caught in a little bit of indecision. I want to shoot at that hill over there, see if there's anyone there, because there usually is. And it's like, hey, presto, there's a 2A5. We get a shot into his side, which unfortunately only tracks him, but he's quite happy to sit there. We always try to aim for the back end of the Leopard 2A5s and 2A4s, because there's always a big chance of setting them on fire by shooting them in that back end, so that's why we go for it. But unfortunately... No bueno. No no fires are going off. So we're just going to keep our eye over there, see if we can see if they're still there. But they're currently... I think they've pulled back. And it's right now I go, oh crap, they've actually pushed quite aggressively behind me. So we're going to go get over here and use this ridge line. And the one thing that this tank does have is 8 degrees of gun depression. So it is actually 1 degree better than the AMX-40 before it, because the AMX-40 has 7. But... It's slightly worse than the stuff like that tank we're shooting at there, the M1, or the Leopards, because they have like 9 degrees of gun depression, or you've got the Challenger with 10. Minute differences, but you do kind of... It's weird to say it that I'm going 8 degrees of gun depression feels a little bit eh, right? Because 8 degrees of gun depression is normally an absolutely beautiful thing. Not quite as nice as 10, but you get the point. But you do start to feel a little bit the, just the gun depression on it, but... You can still work situations like you're seeing right here. Now we're up to 7k damage so far. And we are very fortunate. I didn't even know there was an ATGM coming there. We're, we're very, very fortunate that ATGM only hits our gun. But it does break our gun, which means that we had to wait for the gun to come back in. And I changed situations because I'd taken too many hits in that position I was in. And I wasn't going to be too much good in that area. So we've changed over here to see if we can get some more shots of people like this Leopard over there. And unfortunately the gun misses there, but that's broken gun problems. Just looking to see if the M1 will give us a shot, but the M1 keeps driving. Again, can't quite get a shot at this Leopard, because the gun just hits the floor, but once again, broken gun problems. And he's pulled back, but he's pulled back out again. It's like, well, okay, thank you very much. He misses us, though, which is great. And I'm just keeping my eye on this 
M1. And for, what, he drives out in front of our gun, but unfortunately, we end up missing the kill shot. Hopefully get it this time, and absolutely not. We only track the M1 Abrams. Can we finish him off with the third attempt? Well, third time's the charm. There we go. We shut down the M1 Abrams there. We're just going to keep an eye on see if we can spot the Leopard. But then the Challenger 2 drives out for us. It's like, oh, thank you, Challenger 2. Thank you, Challenger 2. Just thank you for letting me shut you down. And we finish off the Challenger 2. Now we're going to go see if we can help this heavy tank that's in the water. I was just having a look at the cap, though, see if I could see the enemy tank. Couldn't quite see it. And it's like, okay, let's help my friend out over here. So we've captured this Macarver Mark II B out in the open and we've fortunately got a tracking shot in. So we're going to use our DPM and keep this guy pinned and this is again why we run Track Mechanic because I think he probably could have got his tracks on before I'd reloaded my shell. But we get rid of the Macarver Mark II B out and the Thumper shuts my 2A5 friend down but I think okay I've got to get over there to get the cap so I'm going to use my DPM against this Thumper and get rid of him. We get a nice shot into him on the move and I'm just going to try and wiggle 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 see if I can make it hard for him and unfortunately we end up bouncing or tracking only the shot there into the Thumper but we do get behind him get a shot into his back end and now it's like cool I should hopefully shut him down but unfortunately we take another hit and this was a big mistake I should never have left that hill. Two of my guys are going to get back to the cap before they cap anyway, so I didn't have to worry about it. And now I'm trapped in this ditch behind these rocks with a Challenger 2 or a Challenger 1, whichever one it is, and the Leopard 2 charging after me. I'm like, oh god, okay, I'm dead. And I just accept my fate. There's nothing more I could have done there, and I blew it. That, that was my fault for losing, for dying there, and we lost the game. We finished three kills, 12.8k damage, the high caliber, the first class. 885 base XP on a loss. Sad times because we probably could have done a lot more there, to be honest, and we probably could have got a lot more damage out without losing all of our hit points. And that's just the sad thing because we made that mistake and all in the blink of an eye, we lost it all. We shouldn't have come off that hill right there, to be honest. I mean, it's I was, at the point I was thinking, right, I need to get back to the cap and I need to get this thumper is in the way. So I need to get rid of the thumper and then I can move towards the cap. But unfortunately, we did get caught out. And the best play would have probably been to stay on that on that hill and use the hull down, right? But hey-ho. Now we're on to the third replay. And the third replay, we are on Heilbronn. And on Heilbronn, we are going to use this position here to see if we can get any shots at the enemy team that might cross the... Well, you just saw one do it, the Leopard 2, and the guy that went to E5. We're just looking to see if we get any shots at them, but unfortunately they were a little bit too quick and we couldn't quite get the shots. So we're going to try and use this position up here to see if we can get any shots at the guys in the town, but actually the guys are in the town, so we can't get any shots at those. Ricky is on the enemy team. I think I just saw him there. Shout out to that. Shout out to that guy! He's probably the best one to go watch for the Leclerc. I think he already did a Leclerc review. He's the man that's played Era 3 a lot. He's played Cold War a lot, so he knows a lot about this. So you want to go check out his video for it. And yeah, we're on going after this Leopard. I decide, you know what? I'm just going to go after the Leopard. And it's like, oh, hello, Mr. Leopard. He's running away. Okay, that's perfect for me. Because really, if I'd come across that Leopard behind this rock, yeah, I probably would have got wrecked because they had a lot of people on the hills. So... We're just chasing after the leopard, and it's like, okay, this leopard's got away. Hello there, friend. Let me start shooting you, Mr. Leopard, too. Don't mind if I do, sir. We get a nice shot in there, thankfully, after he'd popped the smoke. And I'm not going to move forward until he gets shut down. And there we go. The MBT-70 shuts down the leopard, too. Now is my time to shine and go forth. And hopefully multiply my damage. So... We are now hauled down against this Leopard 2, and unfortunately this little ridge here, we just can't quite get the gun depression. So we're just going to manoeuvre our position again, and this is where it's one of those things. Don't try and persevere with a position that you have to overexpose. Just change your angle a little bit, and there we managed to get the full gun depression where we're not quite overexposing against this guy, and we're managing to bounce some shots out from him and absolutely trashing the poor bloke. And we end up with 3.3k damage so far. Again, similar position to the last game, really. 3.3k damage... With only a thousand hit points lost. And we're now going to go after this Macarver Mark II B. We're loading premium so that we can guarantee go through the Macarver. And he's not really bothered about us. He's following our tank destroyer. We get a shot in that damages his Amorite. We're going for the drive wheel to track him in place. Hopefully get some tracking assist on him. And well, yeah, we, we definitely got that tracking assist. Thank you, Mr. Weasel. And now we're going to go get hauled down up against this heavy tank that's up here. And just as I'm cresting, I'm like, oh my lord, that's a lot of them. Okay. Hello friends, let me just start farming. And there's actually 
a heavy tank behind us that I didn't realize until it shot me in a minute. And we're just going to keep farming the damage into these guys in front of us while we can. Because we're in the perfect position for fighting these guys. We are hauled down. We can just keep popping over and smashing the shots into them. This M1A1 over here gets put down to a one shot. And I thought, oh yeah, I'll kill him. No, poor shot, you moron. Aim properly. We get another shot into the other M1A1. Now, it's all about keeping this gun firing. We get shot into the MBT-70, who fires a rocket at someone. And, yeah, once again, we're just aiming for the upper plate of the M1A1 because we can actually have a match. And that's where I go, oh, there's a, there's a Leclerc over there. Oh, that's awkward. That makes my position of fighting these guys in front of me really goddamn annoying because I can't do it. He's just going to farm me if I stay here. So I'm kind of like, I, I, I want to go back to that position, but I just can't do it. And he gets another pen into us. We bounced on him. And, yeah, really awkward. So I'm like, this position is untenable now. God damn it. I was having a fun time farming these guys. Okay, right. We'll have to accept my 8.5k damage. And I might have to try and get behind them. Try and go up at A5 or something. And, you know, try and flank and spank. Which doesn't always go well in Era 3. But just as we start to move away, the Leclerc goes full balls to the walls attacking my friends. And I'm like... He just gave up such a good position. Okay, if he's given up that position, I'm coming back, baby. So I can start farming again. We dodge a shot from behind, and he's actually dived off the cliff. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I don't need premium to kill this Leclerc. We're going after this guy. We're getting rid of the threat from behind. We get a free aimed shot into the Leclerc, which actually tracks him as well. Bingo, bongo, perfect. And we retrack him in place. Feed us that assistance, please. And he gets shut down. Now we've got the enemy team that are in front of us. They've progressed a little bit further to start attacking us. There's no one really pressuring them. And I decide, you know what, okay, I've got to get forward. And just as I decide, oh, I'm getting forward, there's the MBT-70. And he pens us with an ATGM. I did say that this thing can bounce ATGMs, but it's not impervious. And sadly, we lost a lot of hit points to that guy. He can now shut us down in one shot with his main cannon, which is why we're being very, very careful. We get a nice shot snapped in. And thankfully, before he got the chance to fire, we managed to shut him down and finish off that MBT-70. We get another shot through the upper plate there of the M1A1. We do have to be very, very careful of that thumper. That thumper can kill me in one shot, so I've got to be very, very careful. Just looking for the kill shot on the M1A2 there. Couldn't quite get the shot into him. But again, the thumper looks like it's coming for us. Thankfully, he doesn't shoot at me. But now my M1 friend is charging in to the thumper. So he's going to be distracted with him. Perfect chance. Let's rush in and see if we can get any extra damage to our total for this game. So we come in, auto aim, fire at the M1A2. And of course we bounce because that's just what happens. And we managed to shut down the thumper there. We're just looking for the shot into the M1A2 to finish off. But unfortunately we don't quite get the shot there to finish off that M1A2. And we finish the game with the victory. Top of the team, two kills, 12,144 damage, 3.1k assistance. The Confederate, the high caliber, the first class, 1,592 base XP. Pretty damn nice game, once again, for the Leclerc. And like I say, you're just seeing that sort of consistency, that really nice consistency this thing can start pushing out. When you get the games where they don't end really quickly and your team collapses, because obviously it seems to happen a lot when I've been playing Era 3, is especially in this grind is that the teams just collapse out of nowhere. All of a sudden, it's a really fast snowball that if you blink, you can miss it. All of a sudden, you're going, oh, God, I'm only on, like, 5K damage. Dead. Because, yeah, you've got no support and everyone's died, and you go, oh, well, I'm dead. There we go. If you can get the games where you can start getting involved, keeping yourself in the game and just keeping the gunfire, you can consistently push out that damage. And that's what I found with the Leclerc. Because... I also have a little bit of give, where it, which is something that, that I didn't have in the AMX-40, which could mean that uh, you know consistency was a little bit harder to come by, because if I got focused down, the AMX-40 basically got penned every single time I got fired at. Whereas with this tank, I do actually manage to bounce the odd shot here and there, which is an asset for it. So as you can see, we're on Dragon's Ridge, and we've managed to get two shots into this T-72B, right at the start another shot straight through his upper plate and he fires an ATGM at me and once again if I was in the AMX 40 he would have penned me automatically there he didn't with this tank but now we've realized look where our heavy tank is at F2 he's not facing anything so it's like okay I'm going in behind this T72B because 
I'm not going to get shot in behind otherwise. We get another shot into track the T-72B there, and you can see he's got track mechanic because he gets his tracks back on before we manage to get the retrack. We do get another shot through the upper plate of the T-72B there because naturally I think that's the entry era T-72, right? So it's not, it's pretty easy to pen. And we get rid of him. We're up to 3.7k damage with only a couple, one shot damage left taken and now we're up into the sides of this bu and the 2a5 we get a nice shot into the drive wheel of the 2a5 or sorry the t72bu which tracks him and sets him on fire going for that back end of the 2a5 once again because we might set it on fire just crest the ridge line slap the shot into the side of the 2a5 we bounce him which again this is something this tank can do it's not impervious like a 2a5 from the front but it can it can bounce things which is nice so I hesitate a little bit here because there is still a lot of their team left. It is currently 8-12 and we are coming through the middle of the map. So I'm expecting a lot of them to be up at C9. But my team's gone through and it's like, okay, my team's gone through. I've got to go through and try and help keep a gun, you know, get as many guns in here to try and shut them down. And just like that, we're turning the tide of this battle very, very quickly. We're up to 7.1k damage with two kills. Just looking for some shots into this T-72BU in the middle. Unfortunately, we bounce, but I like, I'm just like, okay, you know what? I'm going to try and get another shot into the MBT-70, but we don't quite get that. But there's a cheeky little weasel here, and it's like, hello, Mr. Diarrhea Lips. <laughs> hello, Mr. Diarrhea Lips. I'm getting rid of you, Mr. Diarrhea Lips. <laughs> God. Damn it. And thankfully for me, his driving is as bad as mine is. And we get to shut down the weasel. And we finish with three kills. Finish him to put us onto three kills, I should say. And we're up to 7.8k damage. And my friend is unfortunately getting absolutely shredded. And we donked two shots on this Charlie too. But we do get another shot into the Charlie too. We get another one into him. He hasn't quite realised he's being shot by me. And thankfully... Because we have 633 pen, we can go through that guy's lower plate. And we shut down the Challenger 2. Up to 9.2k damage with 4 kills. And now my friends are here to put in the hurt to this AMX 32. Which, he's getting bullied right now. But again, he's very easy to pen. We're just trying to poke through to see if we can get a shot at him. It's very awkward. But thankfully, we do get the kill shot into that AMX 32. That puts us on to 10,200 damage with 5 kills. And now we have four tanks left on the enemy team. The six of us. We know where two of them are. They are at E0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge down the J line, then up the zero line. And if we can find anyone that's on the hill, great. If we can find the, if we can get to those guys at E0, fantastic. And you never know, there might be someone charging this way, right? Try and get in behind. Who knows? But we're going to use the mobility of the Leclerc to just see if we can get there, basically. Because my team are... Taking static positions, pretty decent positions to get some shots into these guys where they can stay safe as well. But they're also staying there, which is nice, because usually in Era 3 they tend to be speedy boys and just charge in. But we're going to see if we can get there to get the kill on this Type 89. We, we end up spotting him, RBRT, and we shut down the Type 89. That puts us onto a top gun, and it's like, can we reload in time to get the Challenger? Yes, we get the sh shot in to kill the Challenger. Now there's two tanks left, there's the BMP in the distance and a Chieftain, and it's like, right, okay. Where's this Chieftain? I reckon this Chieftain's on top of the hill, possibly, at C9. And there he ends up getting spotted. He's at D0. And it's like, oh, you know what? Maybe I could get the Radley, well, whatever it is, it's the Frost Heroes medal, and get a shot into this BMP cheekily. And thankfully, we get the shot into the BMP to get our eighth kill of the game with 10,893 damage, which is, yeah, the Frost Heroes medal, which is one of the new ones for getting eight kills in Cold War, which is really, really nice. And there's only one tank left. It is the Chieftain Mark 11. And I actually think he's given up. He's not playing anymore. And our friends are unfortunately getting there to feast. I'm like, can I get the final kill in? Please, 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 please. Oh, thank you very much, people. And we managed to get the final shot in to kill that Chieftain Mark 11. And finish the game with a really goddamn nice total. Well, in terms of kills especially. We finished with 9 kills, 11,198 damage. Ace Tanker, Top Gun, the Frost Heroes Medal, the High Calibre. 70, well, 1693 base XP. A really damn nice game for the Leclerc. It's a really, really damn, damn solid tank at the top of Era 3 for the French line. Is it worth grinding? Absolutely. It's a hell of a lot of fun to play. It's pretty damn consistent. The gun is really quite nice. It's just a really damn nice tank. So as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.
Great success!